through the Out of Fatigue Studios dictation series. In this series, I'm going to talk and I want you to write everything I say. Today, I will introduce my friend. But today, I will use many words that start with in. In means to make. So, for example, enjoy means to make joy. Right? So, please listen to that. I will tell you when to put in a comma and when to put in a period. After, you can check your answers below. Alright? Let's try. One of my best friends owns a cafe. Period. I first met him when I was a teacher and we have hung out regularly since then. Period. I really enjoyed going to his cafe after work and staying there late into the evening period. As we lived in a really rural area, comma, meeting him enriched my life enormously, period. Hanging out with him at his cafe enabled enabled me to improve my Japanese, comma, while playing music and chatting, period. I didn't realize there were other young people in the area, comma. so it was a really enlightening experience for me, comma. and really encouraged me to improve my language ability, period. At the same time, comma, he is like a walking encyclopedia and we are both interested in the same topics, comma, so we often talk for hours about politics, comma, history, comma, music, and religion, period. Through him, I was able to enlarge my social circle and when he entrusted me with his bass guitar, comma, I was able to practice for our band together, period. We still play music and hang out together, comma, but we live further away from each other now, 
comma. So I can't see him so much. Period. If you get a chance, comma, I definitely recommend going to his cafe. Period. It's called Ippuku, comma, and it's in Yuasa, comma, which is in Wakayama, comma, Japan, period. Good, good, good. So, that was the slow one. I'm going to read it one more time at my normal speed. Please check your answers with a red pen after. Okay. One of my best friends owns a cafe. I first met him when I was a teacher and we have hung out regularly since then. I really enjoyed going to his cafe after work and staying there late into the evening. As we lived in a really rural area, meeting him enriched my life enormously. Hanging out with him at his cafe enabled me to improve my Japanese while playing music and chatting. I didn't realize there were other young people in the area, so it was a really enlightening experience for me and really encouraged me to improve my language ability. At the same time, he's like a walking encyclopedia and we're both interested in the same topics. So we often talk for hours about politics, history, music, and religion. Through him, I was able to enlarge my social circle, and when he entrusted me with his bass guitar, I was able to practice for our band together. We still play music and hang out together, but we live further away from each other now, so I can't see him so much. If you get a chance, I definitely recommend going to his cafe. It's called Ippuku, and it's in Yuasa, which is in Wakayama, Japan. Okay, awesome, good job. Um, so, when you check it, please look out for N, E-N, and think about the meaning of those words. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.